Okay, welcome to IT Support. Um, we've got a stack of Samsung Chrome boxes here and many other devices that in the next 12 months are going to be hitting their end of life and end of support as far as Google is concerned. So um, you'll see that they present with this little thing saying this device will no longer receive the latest software updates and uh, we're going to do something about that. So this Samsung Chrome box here which I'm going to rename CRBox-003 I've shorted this jumper out here on the motherboard and that unlocks the BIOS. This device is currently enrolled on our domain so what I'm going to do is first of all transition it into developer mode. So what you have to do on these ones is flick a little jumper on them to move them into developer mode. So I'll just pause. Okay, so I flip the little jumper. I'm going to power back on. And we watch the screen. We get this unhappy face. So what you do is hit Control D. Now I would point out that if you've got a device that's got force re-enrollment um, enabled, then you'll need to put it into an OU where that's not enabled for the time being because otherwise you won't be able to transition into developer mode. So at the moment it's transitioning into developer mode and um, this is going to start in 30 seconds it says. Now this takes a few minutes so I won't bore you with this bit and I'll just pause at this point. Okay a few minutes has gone by and we're on 9, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one, it's taken about four minutes. Okay, it hits 100% and then it sort of swizzles around for a little bit and then the device will reboot and we're back at this screen. At this point you have to hit Control D and then this will be like a freshly provisioned Chrome box, so there we go. And click on let's go. This is plugged into Ethernet, so I can just go straight away. Accept. So a little bit of school web filtering kicking in. And then we sit on checking for updates. Of course, there are no updates because this device will never receive updates from Google ever again. And then we're at the point at which we sign into our Chromebook. So I'm just going to pause and sign. Okay, here we are, logged in. And I've just brought up my blog because that's got my instructions. But you'll notice down here you get this charming little reminder that end of support. This device is no longer supported. We're going to get rid of that. Okay, so what we have to do now that we're in developer mode is hit Control alt t and that will open a shell and what we need to do is hit shell literally type in the word shell and then we need to be a super user so sudo minus s and it tells you a bit of a warning saying yeah 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 you're great power now and then we're gonna enable writing to the ROM now when you run this command if you get success, you know you disabled the hardware lock correctly, which in this case is closing a jumper on a lot of devices, it's a screw. At this point, we're going to reboot the device. So I'm just going to shut it down and restart it. And every time you open developer mode, you'll get this unhappy face. I hit Control D. And then we'll sign in. Okay, and we're still being told it's no longer supported. I don't care. shell again sudo minus s and at this point we're going to install a custom ROM which is going to nuke Chrome OS so I'm going to copy that this is called the John Lewis BIOS but there is another one that I've got here that you can give a go as well I haven't tried that one yet but it seems to have more options 
So you run this script and it tells you to donate to the project. Hit enter. It gives you various options. What we're going to do is flash a full ROM to my Chromebook, in this case a Chrome box. So number two and then it says success and it says input required about to flash your stumpy's boot stub slot repeat if this bricks my stumpy on my head be it okay and i've got to type that in so i'm just going to so i've literally typed that in word for word and then we hit enter and then it's writing the bias this takes a couple of minutes you think oh it's dead but actually it takes a couple of minutes so I'll just pause while it does this ah there you go it's done so it says success now this point Chrome OS has gone from the uh, hard disk and as has the regular boot so if I shut this down what I've got plugged into the USB port is a cloud ready boot disk and what you have to do on boot is hold escape down I found and hammer the two key because escape is boot option two is boot from the flash drive the hard drive's got nothing on it so there won't be anything to boot from so we're going to see whether we can do that so we're going to shut it down when I've done this in the past I've never got it to work first time because I'm not fast enough. I'm actually going to pause at this point because it requires two hands. Okay, after a bit of keyboard hammering, this is my third attempt this time, you should get a cloud ready boot screen and it's booting from the USB. Now, I have a confession to make at this point. This is the one I was working on a minute ago and this is the one I'm now working on. This one I've bricked and this can happen. And I know why I broke it, because I was careless. Because what you've got to do is connect it to a network when you download the script and the ROM that has no filtering whatsoever. And I forgot that step, and I only think it downloaded part on none of the BIOS, so it sort of wiped the BIOS and didn't read it, put anything there. So that one, I'm afraid, is dead as a doornail. And, well, I can use the RAM sticks from it. So this one now is ready to go. And it's connected to Ethernet. and we want to install cloud ready actually let's go, uh, yeah we can't go back there Inclo install cloud ready stand now this is the enterprise version by the way not the um regular consumer one so this is going to use it one of my cloud ready licenses it's also going to use the chrome os license this bit takes a few minutes so I'll pause it again okay so this one's just finished installing and it's rebooting into cloud ready now I've taken the um, memory stick out so the first time it boots it takes a moment or two to sort itself out but subsequent boots are really no different from um, uh, regular Chrome OS Okay, so here we go. We're in cloud ready. Let's go, connected to Ethernet. And it's going to check for updates. And we're on the regular sign in screen. And at this point, I'm going to press Control Alt E for enterprise enrollment. And I'm going to sign into it. So I've given it an appropriate asset ID. I've given it the same one as I've got on my label. So let's click on next. Uh, it's enrolled and I'm going to sign in right here we go and what I'm going to do is first of all um, about Chromium OS now this is on 59 my key was on 59 I do have a new one I can download from cloud ready but let's just update it so I can check for updates and it's updating while it's doing that, I'm going to place it in the OU that I want it to be in on our management console. Okay, so this device is now updated, so I'm just going to restart it.
and this one is currently set not to show uh, login pictures and to wipe local user data because this is going to sit in a room where people log off and log on to it. It's in a sort of a library situation, this particular Chrome box. And that's pretty much it. So if I log back on, okay, so I've uh, logged back in and if I click down here, no nasty message saying that I'm out of support, go to settings, I can click in about Chrome OS and I'm on the current um, build of Chromium OS 63. Okay, 65 is the current stable if you were on uh, the uh, non-zapped version, but this will carry on updating well beyond what Google said it should update to. And you'll notice that we've now got the blue Chromium thingamajiggy here, rather than the one, sort of the green and red and yellow and so on. And if I go on to something like um, Octane. Okay. For sign in from securely. Kicking in there. We have it on DNS as well. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this is out of date now, but I mean, it just is quite useful for a quick run. Close that, close that start octane and I just want to point out that this is a device which is supposedly end of life and um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that and it works and if you know anything about octane scores you'll think hmm that's better than my Chromebook in most situations unless you've got a pixel or one of the higher end models um, it will um, beat most Chromebooks that you'll find that students are using. I should be finished in a second or two. Okay, so I've just got over 14,000 on Octane there. Typical Chromebooks that we've got in student hands, nine to 10,000 at the moment. So um, we're gonna keep these devices alive for a good deal longer than their stated end of life. And it doesn't require that much effort, although you do have to be careful because I bricked one. But there you go.